Hey guys, it's me again, doing another review on The Collector. Now The Collector to me hasn't really got any na real name people in it, but it says on the front, from the writers of Saw 4, 5 and 6. Now, if I remember Saw 4, 5 and 6, uh, the best part I think was number 5, when our, uh, I can't remember, that cop gets his arms crushed. I saw that in the cinema, it's the only person sitting in the thing, I think his name is Statham? Statham? I can't remember. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. I'll talk about that in another review sometime. Anyway, the collector basically has a guy called Arkin who's supposed to be robbing this house because it's supposedly empty. And it's apparently got this big massive jaw in it, diamond jaw I think it is. Is it? Uh, the, the, a rare gem. Basically, he's got a red gem in it, and he has to go, he wants to, he's got to break in because he's supposed to be the cure to his financial freedom with his family because he owes these people money and they're holding his family. And if he does get by 12, I think it is, they're dead, I think. Uh, I haven't seen the movie in a while, but thought I'd review it because I remember it quite detailed in some aspects. Anyway, so basically, he breaks into the house after going there to survey it and it turns out that it's not all that it seems there's somebody else in the house who's got who's doing things to people now the movie is a really gory film and some of the traps are clever and some of them are stupid um, the bit when the girl brings her boyfriend home and that is quite clever um, and I the character himself seems a bit weird. He has this mask on and he ties it up. He's got this obsession uh, with bugs. And uh, it's a very dark, roomy film. Like You'll see people getting tortured and there's people in circumstances where they can't get out with that. It's basically, to be honest, it's sore. It's sore, but with the person in the place with them, torturing them, basically. Um, the character of Arkin seems to really have a problem with the fact that there's a little girl in there and he wants to save the little girl and the problem is with that is he's not very smart and to be honest with you he hasn't got the time to waste because his own family so it's you know and the killer seems to be indestructible <laughs> like he's michael myers or jason Voorhees or something uh, even though he's not supposed to be, even though he's supposed to be a basic person. Um, Arkin runs about and he hears him and he's got all these traps set in the house. And you're like, how is Arkin surviving? Uh, he seems to be messing everything up, which you'll see in time when you see if you've seen the movie or are going to see the movie. And the ending, to be honest, was a bit predictable, but a bit not at the same time. Uh, the ending left off for a sequel, which the sequel did come out, called The Collection, uh, which I'll review at some other time. Uh, but that film's even worse than this one. It's a good horror if you like gore, and it's smart in some places, but I think it's one of those films where you'll either love or you'll hate. Because I really liked it the first time I saw it. The second time I saw it, I was medical on it. I didn't like it as much. Uh, I think it's one of those films that you can watch once and really like, but a second time you'd be like, eh, because you know what's going to happen. Um, it's like a lot, There's a lot of films like that, especially horror-wise. But, yeah, so the film, Arkin is an alright lead, but it's a, it's very boot, B, sorry, not boot, it's very B-movie-like, in my view. The quality of the blu is beautiful. You know, the colours and everything. And it just, it, it's just, I can't explain. It's one of those films where, you watch it and you're like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. You don't have to concentrate on it, but if you don't concentrate on it, you miss certain things. Um, you know, there's a great scene where the killer throws a dead body in a room. Um, but I'm not going to ruin that because I'm not going to tell you how or when. But, yeah, so The Collector is a good movie. Uh, it's better the, the first time you watch it. The same time you watch it, you might not think it's as good. But it's an all right film. The Collector. Come on, Arkin. This is exactly the kind of film horror fans will delight in discovering. Uh.